Hello, everyone, and welcome to another podcast of Porn News Today Live. I'm Alex. So um, I was taking a look at Twitter last night, and one of the people that I follow, Alana Evans, brought to light some fairly interesting tweets, which from my perspective may point to there being something wrong with the testing system when it comes to talent testing services. Um, from what I saw, I'm assuming that talent testing services recently lost a porn star's blood. And it seems that talent testing services may be exploiting porn stars for their extra blood. So let's take a look at some of these tweets. Alana Evans retweets, Talent testing. I've been waiting four days for my results, and the lady at the lab says she lost my blood. So then Alana Evans retweets it and she asks of her followers, has anyone else had this issue before? And someone volunteered some information stating that apart from the problem that the initial tweet was about, there is a talent testing lab in Miami that offers performers $20 for some quote unquote extra blood. And that's a little bit strange because then the person continues to say that that extra blood that they request, they get paid hundreds of dollars for. And Alana Evans seems to concur with that. And then someone else states that they've heard that a lot of performers are switching from talent testing to cutting edge testing because there are a lot less errors in the lab. And Alana Evans thanks the person for that information. And, you know, I've always known that there's something wrong with talent testing when they didn't seem to have a problem with Donald Sion, a.k.a. Donnie Long, testing with them because he's the one who led to the closure of the initial testing center, AIM. But then again, I suppose talent testing services greatly benefited financially from the closure of AIM. So for all we know, they could be testing Donald Sion for free. I'm sure they would be thankful to him. Now, this is the individual who owns talent testing services, Sixto Pacheco. I want you all to remember who he is because I have a feeling we'll be hearing about him over the next few weeks. And I do want all of you to look closely at exactly how they describe BioCollections Worldwide, which is actually the parent company of Talent Testing Services. Their worldwide prospective HIV, HCV, HBV, human plasma serum collections, as well as low-risk, high-risk protocols and healthy collection protocols testing capabilities in serological, molecular, and genotyping methodologies, plus biorepository capability. So as you can see, their primary function is to collect biological samples. So it does kind of seem that Sixto Pacheco, Bio Collections Worldwide, and Talent Testing Services may have decided that they're going to milk the talent pool for all they're worth and extract as much blood from them as possible. <laughs> you know, someone was getting on me about equating what's going on in the adult entertainment industry to vampire movies, but just look at how much of the adult entertainment industry revolves around blood. Just really look at that. It's kind of frightening, actually, when you really think about it. For those of you who um, want to avoid some of the apparent issues with talent testing, just remember you can always go to cutting edge testing. And the good thing about cutting edge testing that I've recently been made aware of is that they do offer the ELISA test, which is the test that is able to determine whether a person truly is HIV negative or HIV positive, but with such a low viral load that they're undetectable. So, you know, for the individual who's really not looking to make a career of the porn industry, but who likely will um, 
be doing a scene or two. I highly recommend that you try to get that ELISA test when it comes to whoever that it is that you work with because ever since Alana Evans of the Adult Performers Actors Guild brought up the issue pertaining to undetectables, th there's a lot more risk at hand than I at least initially thought and that I'm sure many of you out there may currently think as well. So make sure you do your research. So again, thanks for watching this podcast of Porn News Today Live. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.